Okay guys, I'm gonna try to film a bookshelf tour and I think I'm just gonna start with one bookshelf because as most of you guys know, I have six. So let's just start with the first one and see how that goes because I'd rather give you guys like a detailed um, bookshelf tour than like an overview. So we're gonna try this out and see how it works. If you like it, please let me know and I will work on getting the other shelves filmed at some point. So this is my first shelf and all of my bookshelves there in no particular order at all. A lot of these books I have not read and a lot of them I have read. So I just have everything kind of mixed together. So let's get started with this shelf. First I have my Be Happy For Every Minute You Are Angry, You Lose 60 Seconds of Happiness. This hung up in my old house when I was a child and I always loved looking at it. Now some of the books that are in series are not going to be on this shelf because they might be on my favorite shelf, so just be aware of that. So up here we have The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton, The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, The Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, Egg and Spoon by Gregory Maguire, Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes, The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, The Novel Cure by Ella Berthoud and Susan Elderkin, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, Most Dangerous Animal of All, The Zodiac Killer by Gary L. Stewart with Susan Mustafa. And now we have Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, and Gathering Darkness, all by Morgan Rhodes. The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alice Hoffman. Atlantia by Ali Condi. The Martian by Andy Weir. The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Red Rising. And The Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. And Endgame by James Frey and Nils Johnson Shelton. Okay, now we're moving on to my second shelf. Some of these I'm not gonna pull out because they're in a box set and I really don't wanna have to struggle with putting them back in. So we have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. Then we have City of Lost Souls, City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, and The Bane Chronicles, all by Cassandra Clare. And this one is also by Sarah Reese Brennan and Maureen Johnson. Now on top of these, I had... The Mortal Instruments Companion, Shadowhunters and Downworlders, a Mortal Instruments Reader, and the Shadow Hunters Codex. Next I have The Husband's Secret and Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. The Watch That Ends the Night, Voices from the Titanic, a novel by Alan Wolfe. The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Dark Visions Bind Up by L.J. Smith. The Marbury Lens by Andrew Smith. Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Gone, Plague, Lies, and Hunger, all by Michael Grant. And Agor Fabulous by Sarah something, Benincasa. And then I also have some Birdie Bots flavored beans. These are the Harry Potter ones where they might taste disgusting or they may not. I plan to film this probably with my mom when she comes to visit me or with my husband. We'll just have to wait and see who wants to do it. I'm kind of scared. Okay, and now we're on to the third shelf and the lighting is getting worse and worse the further we go down. So let's get started on this shelf. The first one that I have is Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. Looking for Alaska and An Abundance of Catherines, both by John Green. Hex Hall and Demon Glass, both by Rachel Hawkins. The Reader by Bernard Schlink. The Snow Child by something Ivy, Eowyn Ivy, I think. Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. Unravel Me by Tahara Moffey. Willow by Julia Hoban, The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls, Love Lies Bleeding by Jess McConkey. I got this as an ARC and it is fabulous. If you haven't read it, please check it out. And Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters by Jane Austen and Ben H. Winters. The Typewriter Girl by Allison Attlee, Legend, and Prodigy by Marie Lou, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, Let Me In by John something something, I think he's Russian. Incarceron by Katherine Fisher, Partials by Dan Wells, and this is a box set of Beverly Clary books. I loved Beverly Clary as a child, so I decided to pick this up. It has Beezus and Ramona, Ramona the Pest, Ramona the Brave, Ramona and her father, Ramona and her mother, 
Ramona Quimby, age 8, my personal favorite. Ramona Forever and Ramona's World. Strange Angels and Betrayals by Lily St. Crow. A Great and Terrible Beauty. Rebel Angels. And The Sweet Far Thing, all by Libba Bray. Deadly Little Secrets, Deadly Little Lies, Deadly Little Games, and Deadly Little Voices, all by Lori Stolars, I think. Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras, all by Scott Westerfeld. Okay, this is the fourth shelf. Again, terrible lighting. I do apologize. Hopefully you'll be able to see it better once I pull them out one by one. So right here we have my Twilight books. These are the white cover edition, obviously. I do have a black set um, that was my original set, but I really, really like this white set. So we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. I have this little journal that my mother-in-law got me that's kind of Twilight themed. And it's pretty, it's pretty cute. It has a bunch of different quotes and stuff throughout on all of the different pages. Then I have Bella Should Have Dumped Edward from Michelle Pan and the fans at bellaandedward.com. Then I have The Psychology of Twilight edited by E. David Klonsky and Alexis Black. And I also have The Official Illustrated Guide. So uh, I guess you could say I was a little bit obsessed. Next we have Scintillate by Tracy Clark, Color World, and Teleworld, and these are by Rachel E. Kelly, and she is a local author in my town. I have not read these yet, but I did want to support her, so I did purchase them, and hopefully I'll get to them soon. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson, The Storyteller by Jodi Picoult, Angel Fall, and World After by Susan E., and I think the third book just came out, and I need to get my hands on it. Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Simple, Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King, and this is an autographed copy. Crash by Lisa McMahon. This is book one in the Visions series. Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman. Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Bruiser by Neil Schusterman. I've heard this is really, really good, and I really need to get on reading this. I think it was Witty Novels that mentioned this book. Five Summers by Una Lamarche. Yeah, we'll go with that. We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver. I've seen the movie to this and it was so good, but I haven't read the book yet. And I'm kind of wondering if there's going to be more insight into what happened. Let me know if you've read this and if you enjoyed it or if you've seen the movie, because the movie is excellent. The Boyfriend App by Katie Sice. And then I have The Summoning and The Awakening, both by Kelly Armstrong. I'm not sure if these are in the correct order or not, but that's okay. And then right here I have the Beautiful Creatures box set. So we have Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, Beautiful Chaos, Beautiful Redemption. And I do have their latest book, Dangerous Creatures. And these are all by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So for this last shelf, I'm going to have to hold the camera because it is so low to the floor and my tripod does not go that low. So it may be a little bit shaky. This is my... Um, pretty much like graphic novel shelf, comic shelf. So there's a lot of little things going on down here and I'll try to get through them as quickly as possible. The Resurrectionist. Then I have a hardback cover of Origin, which is a Marvel comic. Saga book one, which has volumes one, two, and three. This is a grim book, Aunt Marie's Book of Lore, and it's kind of like the book that he has in the, in the TV show where he looks at all of the different creatures and stuff. So it's kind of similar to the TV show. Bear, move your big head. Then I have Everything Alice, and I'm not sure who this is by. Hannah Red something and Christine Leach, and this is kind of like um, different things that are Alice in Wonderland related, like crafts and activities that you can do. Then I have Puzzles in Wonderland, a fabulous puzzle challenge inspired by Alice's Adventures by R.W. Galland. Then I have Peanut by A.N. Halliday and Paul Hope, I think. The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This is the graphic novel version and it is volume one. I think there's going to be just two volumes in this. Why Grizzly Bears Should Wear Underpants. And five very good reasons to punch a dolphin in the mouth and other useful guides. And these are both by The Oatmeal. 
Then I have Stitches by David Small. This graphic novel is amazing. And I do have a few comics. So this one is Adventures of Superman, and this is number one for DC Comics. This one I got for free when I bought the other ones. It's Bloodshot and it's Hard Corpse number 14. I haven't read it. I don't even know if it's any good. It looks like it's just kind of a sketchbook, so I'm not sure about that one. And then I've got Adventures of Superman. This is the second installment from the first one that I showed you. We have Thor, God of Thunder. This is number one, and Thor is my all-time favorite. And next we have the Emerald City of Oz, and this is number one of five. It's a limited series done by Marvel. I do not have volumes two through five, but it is very cool with the illustrations. Then I have Persepolis Volume 1, The Story of a Childhood. And I have Persepolis Volume 2, The Story of a Return. And these are both by Marjane Satrapy, I think. These are very good. This was kind of sitting on top of everything else, and it's Nyx in the House of Night by PC Cast. It goes along with the House of Night series by PC Cast and Kirsten Cast. And I really, really liked that series when it first came out. I'm not sure how I feel about it now. But at the time, I was very much into it, and that's why I own this. Then I have Fun Home by Allison Bechdel, and this is a very good graphic novel as well. Then I have Anya's Ghost by Vera Brosgol, and this is really good. I know a lot of people have read this graphic novel, and I really, really recommend it. The illustrations are excellent. Then I have the graphic novel version of Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. Do not judge me. I know that I'm 28, but I don't care. I still love My Little Pony. So this is kind of like a box set of, um, a set of comics, and it is autographed by the illustrator, I believe. Then I have Ghost World by Daniel Klaus, and this is also a very good graphic novel. Here is Chew, Volume 1, and this is by John Lehman and Rob Goulery, I think. Um, I do have Volumes 2 and 3, but they are not currently on the shelf. I do have The Walking Dead Volumes 1 through 7, um, The Walking Dead Volume 1, Days Gone By, Volume 2 is Miles Behind Us, Volume 3, Safety Behind Bars, Volume 4, The Heart's Desire, no, uh, Volume 5, The Best Defense, Volume 6, This Sorrowful Life, and Volume 7, The Calm Before. Now, I've read all of these. I do have Volumes 8, 9, and 10. Cemetery Girl by Charlene Harris and Christopher Golden. This is Book 1 in The Pretenders. I'm not sure how many they're going to have in this graphic novel series. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's not that bad either. And then I have my Lock and Key volumes. I only have Volumes 1 through 5. I think there is a Volume 6. So, this is Volume 1, and it is Welcome to Lovecraft. Volume 2, Head Games. Volume 3, Crown of Shadows. Volume 4, Keys to the Kingdom. And Volume 5, Clockworks. And if you have not read these, you should. They're excellent. So I also have The Host by Stephanie Meyer here, and I have my original Twilight books right here. And in front of that, I have T-Rex Trying, and this is by Hugh Murphy. It's just a little cute book about T-Rex trying to do things with his short little arms. This one says T-Rex trying to start a curling team. T-Rex trying batting practice. Uh, they're just very cute illustrations. Then I have Awkward Family Photos by Mike Bender and Doug Chernak. You've probably seen this online. Um, they are pretty awkward. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Hyperbole and a Half by Ali Brosh. Sailor Twain by Mark Siegel. Doctor Who Omnibus, this is Volume 1. Relish, My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nicely, I believe. And this is the graphic novel version of The Picture of Dorian Gray. American Born Chinese. Friends with Boys by Faith Aaron Hicks. And lastly, This One Summer by Jillian and Mariko Tamaki. So that is it for my shelf. As you can see, this is why it's going to take me a while to get through all of my shelves because I have six of them and there's a lot going on on each shelf. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you're interested in seeing my other shelves and I will see you guys later. Bye!